Welcome to Department B. Today we join the Metaphorical Testing Unit in their struggle to locate the cutting edge of science. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Ow! In 2001, Simon Bradshaw and a group of co-workers sought to release a paper onto the internet describing the usefulness of chocolate teapots. That's right. So today, we at Department B's Metaphorical Testing Unit thought we'd extend this work. The 2001 paper was a good start, and spectacularly successful or unsuccessful, depending on how you look at it. That's right. Chocolate teapots are, as it turns out, not useful at all. But the paper did attract criticism. Among other things, the reviewers suggested that the use of consumer-grade water and chocolate in the experiment made controlled replication difficult. That's bad. And that single experiment didn't really prove anything. That's right. It would take much larger research programme to determine whether the results were representative. That sounds really boring, not to mention expensive. Now remember, lads, money doesn't grow on trees. So, anyway, we thought we'd be all interdisciplinary and ask our resident social scientist whether we really need to. Not so much resident as captive. Come on, boy. Careful there, lad, not too much. So there you have it. Instead of 100 replications, we'll do just a simple comparison. That's right. So we thought we'd follow the whole line of inquiry that it was the chocolateness of the teapot that's the problem. It's also cheaper. Especially as we couldn't even get a proper chocolate teapot, not for love or money. Or money. Good one. Let's save that for later. Anyway, what we do have are two pots, one made of chocolate. And one made of pottery. We thought all that handle and spouts nonsense was a bit superfluous. Um, re reading the original paper, it's the fact that the pot is made of chocolate that is the problem. So, the protocol is as follows. Oh, it looks like we have to cut the top off. Cutting edge, I like it. Now luckily, the lid of the ceramic jar is already loose. So we re merely remove it. Seems reasonable enough. Now the water. Keep the tea bags ready in case they're needed. Hmm. That's useful, not only completely useless, but relatively useless too. So there you have it. We replicated the original science and extended it a bit. So who says science is boring? That is so wrong. Next time, does money grow on trees? So that's it. Done then? Yeah, thanks now. Um, now we need to think about money and trees. I like the love of money idea. I'll never make it past the senses. You never know. Department B is a wonderful place for ideas. There's an idea. Fancy a coffee? Love to. Just let me tidy up a bit. <laughs>